Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Green Country Baits here. Uh, we're going to be doing a different video today. I had had a request for uh, basically, you know, what could shorten kind of the learning curve on that because if you've watched any of my early videos, you can see I made plenty of mistakes. So I'm going to show you what I found out. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, we're going to be kind of doing a two camera setup right here. Okay, so the first thing we've got, and you know, these are just things you don't have to have, but uh, in my paint booth area, I bought these, uh, I guess you say it, Flovotech Studio Pro, get you a shot of that, um, basically light hoods, uh, fairly inexpensive, there's a link in the video description below to, to those. And, you know, that's just for, for additional lighting. Let's back up here a little bit. You can see I've got a tripod stand here. And again, the only thing I use that for is for my initial, you know, video statement about what the video is. Again, you could skip that step if you prefer, but uh, this is the paint booth area. We've got the two light stands. Just because I'm in a garage, it doesn't have great lighting. And one of the biggest keys, if you're going to be shooting videos, is to have good lighting on your subject. The next thing I'll show you, and this camera, when it focuses, makes a noise, and I'll show, give you a shot of this camera here in a few minutes. But that's my GoPro setup. Right here, to where we can get a good overhead shot of the painting area. Uh, I started off with uh, not such good camera angles. I tried everything from wearing it on my head to setting up a small tripod on the side. Um, all of those things didn't have as good a view as that. And again, just a GoPro. Uh, I think it's a GoPro 7. And let me get that in focus. And then just got some different arms where I can manipulate that in a multitude of different directions and, and camera angles to get zoomed in on what I need. Uh, that for me is the best shot uh, that I got and that's what the viewers recommended we went through a process there so again uh, lighting in the booth giving a good camera angle all right so we'll switch to the GoPro next and I'll show you um, kind of this other camera setup and all right we've removed the GoPro uh, just kind of give you an area, an idea of a location of different items because when filming a video, you want close access so that you're not wasting a lot of time. Um, I'm set up kind of in a corner of a bench, got all my paints in, in arm's reach, um, <coughs> where I line my baits up, again, where the GoPro's mounted, cleaning station for when I clean between colors, and the airbrushes with the light hoods. Now let's take a look. I don't have a real expensive camera here, but this is a Nikon D33 is the camera that I use. This is just a camera that that uh, we had. We've got, there's a good shot of the lens that I'm currently using. It came with two lenses. This is a, I don't know, three or $400 camera or was at the time. Uh, another thing that's very beneficial is to having a, a good microphone. Uh, you may or may not could tell the difference in using this GoPro mic, but this is a Rogue mic uh, that works well on this camera. Again, this camera is just used uh, at the uh, beginning of my videos just to give a brief description of, of what I'm going to do. 
and I've got that set up to where that's in a particular view. So again, just a, a, a quick rundown on the video equipment that I'm currently using. Um, we'll move in next to the computer system and the video editing software that I use. I'm not going to get real in depth to that. Again, if you're better at shooting cameras uh, or shooting videos and you don't have to edit, then that would be a benefit. But for me, I'm just, uh, I'm not very good. And there's some things that have to be uh, cut out, especially in the beginning. If you don't have videos kind of more or less planned out, your thought process, those type of things, then uh, the editing equipment does come in play to where you can uh, keep your viewers engaged and just give them directly exactly what they're there to, to look for in most situations. So um, we'll go take a check, go take a look at that. Hang on just a second. All right, here's the uh, editing station. Again, I've got a link in the video description to a uh, computer system if you're needing one uh, for video editing. Uh, this one here, uh, I've had a couple different ones. This one I actually just put together back in 2020. Um, I may have a video I could put up at some point or another of that build process. I'm not a computer tech person. Uh, I follow the YouTube video and setting that up. Uh, but uh, right here is, I don't know if you can see that, the uh, software that I use in the video editing process, and that is the free version of DaVinci Resolve 17. I believe 18 is coming out, but kind of give you an eye to look at that. Uh, when you bring it up, get all my projects. Uh, I'm not a tech person, so, but that is the software program that I use, and it is a free version, and it works extremely well for what what I'm what I do with it and uh, again you don't have to have the the editing software if you just want to post some videos and you just get right to the point and, and don't make as many mistakes as I do so anyway um, if this is uh, if you'd like some more detailed information about this process uh, leave a comment I'll try to answer any and other comments that you have um, as far as shooting those those uh, painting videos, um, the outdoor studio or the garage studios where all that's done, just getting a good angle for uh, v the view of what you're doing is probably the most important aspect of it. Uh, if you don't have a spray booth, you may have to use a tripod or some type of thing that uh, can put your camera in a close proximity to your work. But other than that, that's the process that I use. Thank you, guys. Uh, we'll uh, get back to painting next week.